My name is Eva Tiamat Baphomet Medusa, also known as the Dragon Lady. Or for short, you can call her Tiamat. Tiamat is the Akkadian five-headed dragon. And a legitimate question is, what is the Dragon Lady's preferred pronoun? I really prefer to be called an it, just like a, a snake. Besides transforming itself into a dragon, Tiamat is also a transsexual. Getting rid of my male genitalia, which I haven't done yet. It's on, it's on the chopping block. <laughs> but how does one become a dragon? According to Tiamat, it's slowly through body modification. My first uh, modifications uh, towards my reptilian transformation were my horns. In the year 2000, I got my third set of horns, which, I, which is what I have now. In 2007, I got my five eyebrow dome implants. I have five dome implants, subdermal implants, along each eyebrow to bring out that, I wanted to bring out my forehead and give my look, my face a more reptilian look. My next major mod, I started, actually started my tattoo work. My tattoo work is gonna be a full body suit patterned after the Western Diamondback rattlesnake. My next major modification, the removal of my ears. Reptiles don't have ears and my ears needed to go. I have had two procedures done on my nose. The first stage was basically to reshape the nose, uh, remove all the cartilage in my nose, remove the nostrils and remove the septum completely, pulling the skin down and reattaching the skin to my upper lip. Now I have what I call, what is now my dragon nose with a bigger nostril and which are basically slits right up on both sides of my nose and I can breathe so much easier now. I also had my tongue split. And finally, the green eyes of a dragon. That involves dyeing the whites of the eyes. This video shows the procedure. You can see I have green eyes now. What is, and, and basically the seclera, which is the white part of my eyeballs, were stained. Tiamat was born in 1961 as Richard Hernandez. I was born in the suburbs of Phoenix, Arizona. Born to a family of migrant workers who traveled with each harvest. My mom and dad met on the fields, uh, out in the fields, and uh, they eloped and they were married. But it wasn't a childhood anyone would wish for. I think I was in the first grade when my, my mother and my stepdad um, ended up taking us down to close to where my grandparents live, actually on the property of the, of the ranch, and abandoned myself and uh, one of my, two of my siblings. They lived in Houston, so Houston was my first real home as a child. After that, Tiamat says she preferred to think of her parents as reptilians. I was born to my human mother in Phoenix, in the Phoenix area, but I was born to my reptilian parents when my mother and my stepfather abandoned me in the woods. Young Richard was fascinated by the snakes he found in the nearby forest. My whole transformation today is basically an honor to my reptilian parents, which are the rattlesnakes, the Western Diamondback in particular. Shunned by family and friends for being openly gay. My grandfather didn't understand that because um, he just didn't understand that I was not really a boy. He left home after high school and eventually had a son. The news went around that I was going to become a father. One of my friends came and asked me, how did that happen? And I said, how do you think it happened? <laughs> But after Tiamat was rejected by his now teenage son, it decided to make a dragon its preferred modification. As a kid, he loved dragons, and we loved Pokemon. I'm hoping that when he sees me now, uh, he will look at a beautiful dragon instead of seeing his father that made mistakes and was not a perfect dad. So what kind of reaction does Tiamat get while in public? Mostly good. People love me. I go out and I'm greeted with smiles. But there are those times. One lady fell out of her chair in a restaurant when she saw me and hit the floor. And there was one memorable bus ride. As soon as I boarded the bus, I heard a lady scream at the top of her lungs, oh my God, what is that? What is that? And she put her head, I can't see that. Okay, who wants the first one? <laughs> On this day at home in Edna, Texas, no one was scared of the dragon lady as Tiamat made cotton candy for the neighborhood kids. Their parents didn't look concerned either. I need practice on this, don't you think so? <laughs> A little more practice. <laughs> Tiamat has experienced health problems and is HIV positive. I want to raise awareness and 
erase the stigma. There's so much stigma out there about being HIV positive and, or having AIDS, and I want that stigma to go away. What a wonderful world. Tiamat has documented her journey online, and reaction on social media is mixed at best. I have been treated very badly by some people. But Tiamat says everyone is going to have to get used to who it is. I think humans need to be nicer to one another and to really just accept each other for what they are. This is like being in art school, isn't it? Because for the first time in its life, this young man turned dragon lady is happy. I'm very happy. I'm happy with my life for the first time ever. Yay! <laughs> Mark Martinez, Fox 10 News.